Well, it's raining here today. I believe boat does actually happen in Florida occasionally. Usually it's beautiful and sunny and you just expect it that way. But as you can see behind me, it's raining. So uh, help me catch up on some of the uh, odds and ends videos I was planning to do. And today I'm going to do a review on all the rigid tools I have. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly about them. Stay tuned. Thanks. Okay. What I'm going to do today, as I said, I'm doing my uh, review on the rigid tools I, uh, I currently own. And I'm going to do what I call the good, the bad, the ugly about them. Uh, from corded to cordless, I've got uh, quite a few. Um, with my review, uh, I, I am a, a more of a hardcore user, a general contractor. Uh, I do property management. Uh, property investments so my tools get used regularly and every tool I'm going to go over I have had for at least a year and most of them longer so it's not like I, I, a lot of tool reviewers where I picked it up once and said well I like this I don't like this and that I've used them all used them all extensively so I can have uh, what I consider a, uh, an educated opinion on what I like and don't like about them so let's jump in. We're going to start over with the corded. First up, the Cirque Saw. This is the R3205 7 and a quarter Cirque Saw. Uh, it's not a bad saw. Generally, pretty heavy duty. Um, 15 amp, 5800 RPM on it. Works. For what I've used it for, well, on the whole, solid plate. This is the problem with a lot of saws. The plates get are, are cheap or get out of whack. Solid, never been dropped, never been abused. Um, that's what you'll find um, a pattern here and everything I say. I, I do use my tools hard and heavy. Uh, they get a lot of work out of them, but they're never abused. They're always well taken care of, not dropped or thrown around, always stored properly. The plate, good solid plate on this, uh, no bends. The problem I have is it is about an eighth, about a sixteenth to an eighth out of whack. If you take a speed square, run it along, it will actually run off of your line that much. I don't know if the plate is in here where the angle adjustments are because the back seems pretty solid and what I Think there's a little bit of play I can't really feel it like this but if you've got it up against a speed square and all that you can put a little pressure on the saw and get the saw to track on the line um, obviously if you're doing precision cuts you're not going to be using a cirque saw anyways you're going to use a miter and that but for that I probably wouldn't buy it again probably wouldn't recommend it just because you know I prefer something that's you know right on the money for what I'm using so we're going to give that not so much a, a defo or thumbs down, but a, you know, depends what you can get it price wise and what you're using it for. But you know, if you're looking for something a little more uh, exact, you, you might want to spend a couple more bucks. The other one, corded. I've had this for quite a while. Hammer drill. This is the R5011 half inch, 8.5 amp. This has been it's got obviously hammer drill regular. I really only use this mainly for hammer drill functions. Nice steel chuck on it, smooth. Everything's run perfectly on this. I like this a lot. Uh, I don't remember what I paid. Got a good good price on this, like anything else. But good quality. Uh, only time I really drag it out is for doing heavy duty uh, masonry bits, hammer drill. Always worked well. Definitely thumbs up on this. Even though I'm not a big fan, and I'll get into that later on the bags. I'll talk about that later when I get into that. Going to move into the cordless now. Cordless drill. This is, again, rigid. This is the R86116. This is hammer drill and regular drill. I don't use the hammer drill. I have... I can very rarely on this. Most of the time if I'm a hammer drill and it's bigger projects, then I'm going to pull that bad boy out. Nice steel chuck on this. Half inch. 
has worked phenomenal. Everything I've done, it's been uh, no problems at all. I can't have any knocks on it. Light there, adjustable chuck clutch. I don't use that that often either, but um, again, solid thumbs up on that. Impact. This is the R86037, quarter inch. You can tell on this, it's been very well used. I use this quite a bit. Uh, illuminated all the way around. Forward, reverse, multiple speeds, one, two, three. Again, very good quality. Never have a problem, always does what I ask it to do. So, no knocks at all on this as well. Um, you know, I liked it and this works well, so thumbs up on that as well. Flashlight. This is the R8694. It's the cheapy. Uh, I don't need the super expensive battery one. I have other lights if I need a lot of illumination. This is more of a crawl space, attic area, get in, get out. Uh, single LED. But the single OD is very bright and does anything you ask. The, the key to this to me was the pivoting head. So you can set it and put, illuminate exactly where you need instead of trying to prop it up and, and all that. It, it'll go wherever you want. Very bright. And like I said, it's a cheapie. They have one that's a lot more than this. This worked phenomenally for what I've asked it to. This is the R86072. It is the USB attachment that goes onto a battery. And what this allows you to do is put a USB cable, charge your phone, other USB devices. Really nice, I, I got a good deal on it. It's the only reason why I bought it. Nice when you're out in the field, if your battery goes dead, you don't have anything else. You always have batteries around. Plug this onto the battery and charge your phone, use your phone. Let me go over the batteries real quick. Too. I like the batteries. The batteries are what actually sold me on Rigid. They have the LED lights on them, which is nice so you know how much power is in there. You're not guessing when else it runs out. Charger, really nice quality charger. Doesn't just give you an on and off. I have Milwaukee. I love my Milwaukee equipment. Um, but the Milwaukee's charger is basically red for charging, green you're all set. This will give you LED status updates as it's charging, so you can look at the charger, and not just on here, but on the battery as well, so you know your status of charging as you're going. Good quality as well. Sawzall. This is the R8643. Mixed on this, it has worked well for what I've asked it for. It's not an overpower hog. The batteries, which again, I get that the four amp batteries on these have been phenomenal. Uh, they'll hold up all day long. Easy for putting them to, to work. You keep them both charged, you're good to go. Um, long battery life on them, very powerful too. This Sawzall does okay. It, it does everything I've asked it to do. My biggest problem is on it, the leg within the first few times I used it is bent. It's actually tweaked sideways. I don't abuse them and for that to happen with regular use I didn't even notice when it happened it is to me not very good quality. Granted you, the leg is just a guide you're not really cutting uh, your precision cuts so it's just a guide but it should not be bent and it is I get it, they're, they're made a little lighter duty throughout the field, but in comparison, my Milwaukee, it is a corded, so obviously a little heavier duty, but it's 28 years old, and this thing's been to hell and back. This thing's fought every battle I've ever done of major projects and demos and rehabs and flips, and it works flawless. The leg is, everything's sound, I'm sure. This thing's been beaten around a little more even by some of my guys. The only thing I've ever had to do to this was the keyless blade. Uh, I had to replace one of the guys had banged it and the spring popped out of it. So for 15 bucks, I replaced that. That was a long time ago. Besides that, this thing works flawlessly. So now 
on to another item. This item is the R8620 Rigid. This is their Job Max. This I sort of blame on myself. This is one of those tools that they market as you can buy the different heads and it does everything. My motto has always been when you buy something that does everything, it does nothing well. And this tool fits up to that perfectly. I have the, how it works is you buy the different heads, the battery pack was on here, the body, and then they snap, click on, and you're ready to go. Jigsaw does work. I don't wanna say okay, just for roughly quickly out in the field. The blade speed is way too slow. And no adjustability on the blade speed. Full blast, it's just too slow for what it's doing, so you get a lot of vibration and jerk on it. The oscillating head is complete garbage. This, the again, blade speed is slow, and this will actually, if you put any pressure on it, the blade will stop. So it makes it completely unusable. So what I'm going to say is completely skip this. Buy the tool you need. If you need an oscillating tool, buy one, which I did. I bought a Milwaukee, and it, it's night and day phenomenal compared. Same thing with that. You need a, a jigsaw, buy a jigsaw. This all-in-one is complete garbage. It never comes out of the bag anymore just because it's pretty much useless. That's what I was talking earlier, two bags. I also not, and I cannot mock, mock knock rigid alone on this because a lot of the manufacturers are doing this. These soft bags. I am a hard tool case fan because the soft bags obviously are cheaper for them, but you throw things in here with blades and where the hard tool case, they can be like brand new, you can put them all in there. It's easy to put your blades in the carry next to you and you got blades coming through the sides of the case or bits or whatever else. And they just don't, they're not gonna hold up as well. You know, a hard case to take care of it. Um, what I, my final thoughts on the Rigid, I bought them because of their Warranties. The battery warranty is lifetime warranty. No questions asked. You have batteries go down. Anybody that has cordless knows how expensive cordless batteries are. That's what steered me towards that as I was replacing some of my older cordless equipment. I, with that now and my experience, I'm not going to get rid of or sell off anything. Here. I'm going to continue to use it as it needs replacement, like the oscillating. Uh, I'm not going to go rigid. Um, I gave them their shot, in my opinion, and I'm probably going to switch back to I was always originally a, a big Milwaukee fan. And I know all their tools, everything they've done is not perfect, but I do a lot of research on them. So for the things I'm needing, I'm, I'm probably going to head that direction. All these and that, I'm sure I get quite a bit more life out of them before I even worry about that. But personally, I, I, I don't think I would sit down here and recommend that you know you go out and buy rigid you know if, if you're a rigid fan and they're they do great buying no issues at all that's you know hey good for you i'm glad you're getting your dollars worth out of it too um i'm just saying my personal opinion and use for using many different types of tools over the years very extensively so uh any questions comments you want to say different you want to say for that drop them in the down in the comment section and thanks for watching and have a great day